may just look and sound like kids making a bunch of noise. But to Sherry Tyhurst, it's music to her ears. And you can actually drum out a tune. It's the sound of learning. And it's everywhere in Melody Park. The trash cans play music. The tree park area has hand sensors. The floor is a piano. Melody Park is just one of the exhibits in Science City. Opening in 1999 as part of the Kansas City Museum, it was designed to teach kids about science with one specific theme. The idea was that Science City is a city and science is everywhere. Science from the high wire bike. The bike is on a tightrope and beneath the bike is a lot of weight. The weight um, is enough to keep the center of gravity low on the bike. It can be very scary for um, some people. To the Mystery Hotel, where your eyes might deceive you just a bit. Everything in there is an optical illusion, and it also seems very mysterious for children. Like in the diner, where the magic of mirrors make body parts disappear. But they haven't left out the classic illusions. You can look and see three white vases, but if you look in the negative space in between the vases, it looks like faces, and it looks like they're talking with each other. With over 25 exhibits, Science City touches on all aspects of science. Kids learn physics on the golf course, what can fly and why in the treehouse, and get a little dirty uncovering dinosaur bones in the dino lab. It isn't just a science center. It's education. It is entertainment. And kids know what's really going on here. When you're doing stuff fun, then... They can, like, I guess your teachers can try to sneak some learning in. The staff here says they've found the best way to do that. The interactive aspect and then the identifiable aspect. I think you're reaching the child at where they are. Um, you go into their world. And it's their ability to launch a child's learning that makes us proud to call it home. Andy Pollard, NBC Action News.